In other words, Sarah doesn't cause me to be the way I am. She reveals the way I am. Therefore, if my response is unloving, it reveals an unresolved sin problem within me that can't be blamed on her. And, and Sarah's response is her responsibility. So if she responds in a way that's disrespectful, that's her issue. Uh, think of it this way. A speck of sand in the human eye first causes irritation, right? Then if not cared for, infection. And if still not cared for, loss of vision. Now that same speck of sand in an oyster causes irritation, then concretion, and then produces what? A pearl. Now did the sand cause the eye uh, did the sand cause the eye to lose vision? Did the sand cause the oyster to produce a pearl? No. The sand is an irritant that reveals the inner properties of the human eye. The sand is an irritant that reveals the inner properties of the oyster. That's not the case. Next time you get sand in your eye, be careful, a pearl may pop out. But that's not going to happen. On the marital bus ride, your spouse is an irritant. <laughs> They're irritating you but they are revealing your inner properties. It's as simple as that. Well, over here I have a rose. I'm going to step on this rose. Oh, the aroma ascending to my nostrils is delicious. Oh, I love that rose smell. Now, when I stepped on the rose, did I cause the rose to smell like a rose? No. My pressure on the rose revealed the inner properties of the rose. Over here, we have a skunk. I'm going to step on this skunk. There's an odor that ascends to my nostrils, and it is not delicious. <laughs> now, am I causing the skunk to smell like a skunk, or am I just revealing the inner properties of this little black and white creature? You know the answer to that. On the marital bus ride, are you a rose or a... What's coming out of you? Your response is your responsibility. Your spouse is not causing you to spin out of control on the crazy cycle. And they are not responsible for you to do the loving, respectful thing on the energizing cycle. And ultimately, they cannot prevent you from doing this unto Jesus Christ. You see, the sun in the sky melts the butter, but it hardens the clay. How does the sun know to harden the clay and melt the butter? It doesn't. The sun is a heat that is, is revealing the inner properties of the butter, revealing the inner properties of the clay. The trials that Jesus went through, did they cause him to be the Son of God or reveal him to be the Son of God? The trials you're going through and I are going through reveal who we are. 